Welcome to HXGN Live TV in the defense and intelligence arena providing real-time situational awareness to the warfighter is paramount to mission success. Now, accessing and sharing this real-time data has often been a challenge for defense leaders and industry. Now, the combined solutions of Luciad and Hexagon Geospatial make it possible for U.S. defense agencies to leverage high-performing geospatial situational awareness technologies. And today we're speaking with Christoph de Prater. Hi, Matt. How are you? Nice to see you. Christoph see you. is the Chief Sales Officer at Hexagon Geospatial. And now we have also Steve Duplessis, Manager of Software and Engineering Business at Hexagon Federal. And both of these gentlemen are going to talk about how the combined Luciad and Hexagon Geospatial solution tackles this age-old challenge in the DNI arena. And let's start with Christoph. Um, tell us about some of these challenges that are out there when it comes to sharing real-time data in the DNI arena. Mm -hmm. I think there's commonly three challenges, Matt, that our customers see. It's, um, they have a challenge of meeting very high performance needs. Um, they require open systems, and they require optimal user experience. Those are really the three key challenges that we see across defense organizations worldwide. And I can go into sure. all of those, yeah, uh, hear, all of yeah, those three points more. a little bit more. If you, if you look at performance, um, you, you talk about the three Vs. Data comes in uh, an ever-growing volume, variety and velocity. And uh, classical geospatial systems are not equipped to handle uh, such a big influx of data. And that's where the Luciad and the GSP stack comes in. Uh, because of certain smart architectural choices, we can really handle real-time data really well and combine that with static uh, data sources. Um, then there's the topic of openness. If you look at any defense organization today, they are confronted with uncertainty. Uncertainty in the sense that they don't know where the theater of tomorrow is. There, it can be conventional conflict, there can be asymmetric warfare in a city. Um, they don't necessarily know which alliances they will be engaging in. Look in Afghanistan where you had a myriad of nations working together. So they don't know with which data of allies they will have to connect in the battlefield. And that's why having an open architecture is so important because you need to have an architecture that can connect to any data format that you would encounter in the future. And last but not least, user experience. Um, people in theater today are digital natives. So they don't just want a system that is performant and stable, it has actually has to be beautiful and attractive to use. So usability in UX is definitely something that is high on our priority list. That's great. Now tell us about Luciad's heritage in the defense sector um, and what solutions best meet these today's real-time situa situational awareness needs? No, that's, that's actually no. a, <laughs> that's a very good question. Um, actually, uh, Luciad has a, a, a very strong link from day one with uh, the defense industry. Actually, the, the two founders came from a uh, NATO research lab on the one hand and from a big uh, defense integrator on the other hand. And they really saw the need for a situational awareness capability that was uh, targeted towards uh, defense uh, use cases. Now, um, to mention you some of the, the, the typical cases where the, the Lucia technology is often used, I would uh, first of all mention battlefield management systems. So embedded in uh, mobile assets on the terrain, armored vehicles, uh, vessels, uh, planes, um, where the software is really being appreciated for its extremely small footprint, so it can fit on small devices that are embedded in vehicles, uh, and also for its ability to make very advanced analytics and calculations. For instance, what is the best route to go from point A to point B, not just taking into account the shortest route, but also avoiding the enemy line of sight, um, taking into account bad weather, even taking into account the vehicle uh, characteristics uh, of my asset so that I know if I can handle a certain slope or if I can handle certain terrain. Um, and there's more examples. Uh, air defense systems, for instance, today use uh, Luciat very intensely. Uh, in many countries, on all continents, air defense systems are equipped with Lucia technology. Uh, why? Because customers, users have a need to handle thousands of tracks simultaneously with a sub-second uh, update rate. And those are all, again, features that uh, your average geospatial technology cannot necessarily deliver and where you really need uh, a focused, real-time equipped technology. That's excellent. And I understand that Luciad has been helping NATO to enhance operational planning with geospatial data visualization. 
Can you tell us a little bit more about yeah, that? Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, actually, uh, today, if you look at the number of systems deployed and also at the number of users actually relying on those systems, Luciad is by far uh, the location intelligence technology that has the biggest footprint within NATO. So what are we speaking about? Well, for instance, as I said before, air defense systems. Uh, also, systems that provide a COP, a common operational picture. Lucia technology has been deployed over the last 15 or 20 years in about every NATO mission worldwide. Last but not least, ISR, Intelligence Surveillance Reconnaissance. Um, NATO has a very big unmanned program. It's called NATO AGS, Allied Ground Surveillance. So these are the big uh, unmanned birds of Northrop uh, Grumman that are high in the sky and that uh, get uh, intel to, uh, to the command post. Well, that program uses Luciad not just for the, the flight planning and the mission planning, but also for real-time mission control and then for post-mission image and intel analysis. Excellent. Let's, let's move over to Steve. So um, yeah. now with Luciad part of the Hexagon portfolio mm -hmm. and with you at Hexagon US Federal, how does this combination now strengthen our efforts in the, in the defense arena? Well, I think you know, probably the, the main impetus behind the whole acquisition was really the fact that, uh, as Christoph described, you have tremendous um, experience and, and recognition inside NATO, but being a European organization, it was very difficult to get access to the US defense market. So uh, that's what our organization is all about. We're a part of Hexagon that has um, a, a local presence here in the US. We, we are able to work with the US government and the US uh, DNI community, and so we can bring that fantastic technology and experience that they've had in NATO to the US um, marketplace. Um, the other thing I think is, you know, that the geospatial uh, marketplace in DNI specifically is, is changing very rapidly. It's evolving. They're moving away from the desktop. They're going to the cloud. They're going to the web, uh, mobile apps. This ability to connect to multiple sources of data very rapidly, uh, do analysis on the fly. You can't wait for analysis. There's too much information that you know would get lost. And all of that is, is an injection of technology that we get from Luciad. It's, it's sort of modernizing our traditional um, stack of technology. And we're very excited about that. That's awesome, that's awesome. You know, in many ways you answer my next question, but I'll throw it out to you anyway. What are the top three reasons why the combined Luciad and Hexagon geospatial solutions are best suited for the defense arena? Yeah, I think, three you reasons. know, obviously the first one that I mentioned is, is the technology. We, um, we think that the technology is very beneficial to our, our market space, but we're also gaining what, about 60 or 70 uh, software developers that, that us as an organization will be able to leverage. And then the fact that the Luciad technology is deployed as an SDK with um, APIs that our team, who has clearances and access to uh, US um, agencies, we can go in there and use that SDK and build solutions for our customers that are specific to them and leverage the experience and the uh, skills that they have back in, in Belgium. It's great. You know, in the GeoInt arena, you've heard for many years the power of real-time data, real-time situational awareness. It's been something that's been talked about for, gosh, 10 plus years that you hear. With Luciad and Hexagon Geospatial, and I'll ask Christoph this, are we there? Does this actually bring us to the real-time situational awareness that no. the warfighter needs, that defense leaders need? No, it's, it's an excellent question. Um, I think we're there. Obviously, it's a, it's a journey that will continue onward. Um, data comes, as I said before, in, in ever-growing volumes and also the speed of that data will be faster and faster. I think today we are equipped to address the needs of the defense community today, but we can also give them the assurance that our technology is fit for tomorrow. And I'll just give you one example. If you look at any uh, geospatial application, people used to think in terms of the real-time data that was overlaid on top of a static base map or static background imagery. Even that background imagery is getting dynamic. Today, you don't just get a picture out of space, you get live video streams from satellites. So right. everything is moving, and we actually have defense uh, customers and users here in the US, uh, Special Operations Solutions, for instance, that overlay, that augment the reality of full motion video and actually drape uh, um, geo information on top of that. So everything is becoming real time. Uh, in the future, and we're fully equipped for that. Uh, Luciad, together with the folks from Hex US Fed. That's awesome. Steve, anything else to add about that? 
Yeah, I think you know uh, it's it's going to be a, a unique combination of our technologies. We've got very advanced analytics that we can bring to the party. We've got uh, remote sensing, photogrammetry, and GIS that goes back decades, mm -hmm. and bringing that together with the real time uh, awareness, the the ability to connect to all these sensors. I think it's a fantastic yep. coupling. And then on, on, on top of that, um, the Hex US Federal team has a, a group of engineers that develop. Uh, classified and uh, sensor models as well as formats that we can bring into the picture as well. No. I think Steve hits the, the nail on the head. What, what you have here <laughs> is a unique combination of the technology and the people with the defense uh, experience and the credentials, that's one. And second, as Steve also indicated, we now as Hexagon Geospatial cover the entire value chain. From the very start from data production all the way to the exploitation of the data in the battlefield, and that is unique. That's a unique capability that no one else in the marketplace has. That's awesome. Um, you know, we're almost out of time, guys, but anything else to add today? Anything we may have missed? I think we've covered off of some good stuff, but any parting shots? Christoph. Um, all I can say is it's the first time, uh, time I am at Hexagon Geospatial. I'm truly impressed by the quality of the presentations, the, the, the quality of the individuals attending and, and the variety of individuals that, that attend. So I would really invite anyone who's watching this, uh, this broadcast to uh, cross already the edition of 2019 in their agenda because it's really worth being here. Awesome. Steve. Yeah, I think you know it's been a, sh a short few months uh, since the acquisition, and we've already made a lot of progress. Um, we've got half a dozen of my engineers already uh, trained and ready to work with Lightspeed and uh, RIA, and we're already working with Christoph on sales opportunities where we can go in and put our guys to the and, and get uh, jobs for them. So That's we're very excited. It's awesome. So this concludes our HXGN Live uh, 2018 TV interview with Christoph De Prater, uh, Chief Sales Officer of Hexagon Geospatial, Steve Duplessis, Manager of Software and Engineering Business at Hexagon US Federal. And these gentlemen were kind enough to talk about how these combined solutions actually do tackle the real-time situational awareness and data sharing that has been a challenge in the defense arena for uh, a long time. I'd like to thank you both for your time today. Uh, for more insights, uh, definitely check out um, hxgn.com, hxgnspotlight.com, pardon me, for more insights and to watch this episode. And thank you so much.